Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about long volume and capacities. Now this is probably going to be one of the last videos I'm going to do on the respiratory system because I think I've covered quite a few, well, a broad range of topics and I think following on from this I'll probably be making videos just to do with pathological diseases of the respiratory system or some kind of clinical cases. Anyway, let's go into this video. It's going to be about lung volume and capacities. It's a very important subject in terms of diagnosing uh, obstructive pulmonary disorders and so on. So let's begin. First, we have tidal volume. Now, tidal volume is basically when you're breathing normally, it's the amount or volume of air which is inspired or expired in each breath. So it's just the measurement of the volume of uh, air passing in and out during normal breathing. Then we have something which is called vital capacity. Now this is the maximum amount of air that can be expired after a maximum inspiration. So you're going to take in a big breath and then the measurement is the maximum amount of air that you can then breathe out after that big deep breath that you've taken. The next one is inspiratory reserve volume. This is the maximum volume of gas that can be inspired in addition to the tidal volume. So you'll take in a normal breath of air and then the additional air that you can then breathe in on top of that normal breath, the maximum amount of that or the volume of that is known as inspiratory reserve volume. Expiratory reserve volume is kind of a similar thing. The maximum volume of gas that can be expired in addition to the tidal volume. So you'll um, breathe out and then any extra that you can breathe out is the expiratory reserve volume and remember it's going to be the maximum amount which is which you can breathe out now next we have residual volume this is the volume of gas which is remaining in the lungs after maximum inspiration we have total lung capacity following on from that it's the total amount of gas in the lungs after a maximum inspiration inspiratory capacity this is the maximum amount of gas which is inspired after normal tidal expiration so you're going to breathe out normally and then you're going to take a maximum amount or a maximum inspiration and this is basically the inspiratory capacity then we have functional residual capacity this is the amount of gas remaining in the lungs after a normal tidal expiration now, the last thing I want to mention is something which is known as forced expiratory volume. Now, you may have done this if you've ever gone to the hospital and you've had to breathe really fast into one of those tubes. It's known as a spirometer, but basically it's the percentage of vital capacity that can be exhaled in the first second. So it's basically a spirometer works by, well, you basically have to breathe into it as fast as you can. And there's a little uh, nodule on it, which is going to measure how fast you've you've breathed that first bit of air out. So it measures the forcefulness of the air which you can exhale out. Now, if this reading is less than 80%, this suggests some form of obstructive pulmonary disorder. And it can be a variety of different reasons that it can be lower, but something that you need to know is this forced expiratory volume because it's quite a common practice, um, especially even day to day as well. Now, that's everything I want to discuss in this video on long volumes and capacities. I've, I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.